Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Socorro Secrets. My name is Irene. I am the owner of Socorro Secrets. Today I'm going to share with you how you can uh, practice in order for you to see the bright light when you actually close your eyes. So people actually have a, ha a lot of hard time visualizing that bright light when they're trying to do a meditation through the third eye. So today I'm going to show you what you can do in order for you to attain that bright light and it always takes practice. So before we get into it, show real. everyone, welcome back to my channel, Socorro Secrets. My name is Irene. I am the owner of Socorro Secrets. I am a Law of Attraction coach. I'm also a Reiki or energy healer, and I'm also a fourth degree on a black belt on a Mukwondo style. So today, I uh, just thought about sharing with you guys um, how you can practice in order for you to instantly start seeing bright light, you know, when you try to meditate through your third eye. It's a, actually a technique if you're trying to manifest something and trying to visualize through your third eye because when you meditate through your third eye, your manifestation usually comes faster. And it all, actually, it also uh, allows you to, um, you know, uh, do some further uh, or deeper meditation through your third eye. But a lot of people has that um, problem on getting uh, that opening, that bright light, you know. And um, so today I'm going to share with you what I have learned from my mentor. Uh, and I had practiced it and it actually now when I close my eyes, I immediately just see that bright light when, I, when if I'm following, uh, you know, a guided meditation. And the guided meditation usually say, we close your eyes and imagine there's a bright light through your third eye. And they say that you just immediately say it so there's a few things you know and um, it's just um, maybe it's up to you on how you're going to pick a way because there's uh, a few ways that I'm going to share with you one is um, basically when you try to look at something you're capturing that image and putting an imprint into your mind so for example uh, for example this is a flashlight Right, this is a flashlight. I uh, sometimes use flashlight to, you know, when I was doing an exercise, I use a flashlight. And so right now you stare at the flashlight. So if you're staring at the flashlight, you look at it, right? You look at it, don't, don't blink, just capture that. And then you close your eyes. When you close your eyes, you are trying to memorize that exact image, right? And then you open your eyes again. If you forget, if you, that image has, um, you know disappeared and then you look at it again and then you close your eyes you look at it again you close your eyes you look at it again you close your eyes you practice that right but you're not going to use the that is the concept but to see the bright light and practice it you can use like what I'm using is I look at I turn the flashlight on because it's not as blinding as you know looking at the Sun so when I turn the flashlight on and I look at it it's it is still blinding you know it's still blinding but it's not as blinding as the sun but you know so it is I'm looking at it not really staring at it and look at it close my eyes look at look at it close my eyes and I'm capturing capturing that um, that bright light so putting an imprint in my brain so you can use flashlight like what I started doing you can use candle uh, lamp you know you can use that too and just practice it now you can also use the Sun because the sun is the brightest, but do not stare at the sun because that would be very hurtful to your eye. What you could do is just gaze at it, you know, like briefly look at it, not directly look at it, especially if there's clouds. You could still see if it's covered like a little bit of a cloud, then you can look at the sun and practice that. And that will amaze you. It will immediately kind of make you imagine that there is bright light when you close your eyes and the really secret to it is just practice practice and practice and practice it may take a little bit depending on 
uh, person to person but to me it worked really well uh, like a few times uh, but I practiced a lot though so when I close my eyes I see that bright light now I don't have to use um, any of those things that I used in order for me to see that bright light so it would take time so you need to be patient and you need to be positive about it and you need to start visualizing so you're pushing yourself to really visualize until it becomes natural to you so I hope that you will try that and I hope that this video is helpful to you and uh, hopefully you attain, you know, um, whatever you're trying to attain, uh, you know, when it comes to visualization, manifestation and all that stuff. Comment below if you learned something and also if you haven't, haven't subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button because I'm dedicated to create more videos where I can share my knowledge and also to inspire you. So until my next video. See you guys later. Bye.